Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to part 21 of the Digimon World 4 Let's Play. In this part, we are actually going to take the fight to the final boss, Mecha Rogue X. We've we've done everything we've done everything we possibly could up to this point. So, so yeah, a better strategy, kind of with those switches. Instead of trying to take your time to shoot all the cannons, you just run around in a circle like this. You might get hit once or twice. See? But here we are at Endgame. Okay, that... Okay, uh, that Inframon was, cle was clearly a jump scare. I was just confirming if there was any switches over here. There is not, so. And because of my own idiocy, um, yeah, we just got we, we just got we we just got our we just got beat. There we go. So. So incredibly enough, the final boss does not have a dungeon. Like all of his like all of his subordinates. He's just kind of hanging out in a big circle. So, welcome to the mechan welcome to mechanical core. Also known as in the Inframon nest. Cuz all you're going to find here is Inframon. So, I'll actually explain that in, in a second. Depending on your level and what moves you got, it's recomm I highly suggest you take everyone out that you, that you run into. Okay, so on the first floor, you want that switch I stepped on. There's a green one too. You want to hit that one as well. At the time of recording this, I kind of for forgot how it worked exactly. But back to the Inframon. Like I was saying, you want to. You want to, uh, definitely, depending on your level, take them all out. So yeah, the rule, what you gotta do here is you wanna activate all the green switches and only a single red, and then a green and a red one at the bottom. After that, ignore all the red ones. The Infermon was starting to pile up, so I decided, okay. Even the, even the blast move Cutter would be pretty good for these guys. Because Cutter goes through everything. Okay, so don't do this. But we're still at a point where I kind of had for forgotten or just didn't remember. I immediately had to check a guide about this one because I was wondering what the hell? Inframon, stop being a bastard. Rude. There we go. Yeesh, my, my sword barely uh, missed him there at that first swing, so... If, if that Inframon had a beard, well, he doesn't got one no more. He doesn't, well, he doesn't have one anymore. Oh, God. 
bad spiders. They're they're everywhere. When I saw this, I was thinking, okay, well maybe I need to activate all of the, all the switches. But again, nope, just the green ones, and one red one at the bottom. Green and red at the bottom, and then green for the, all the other floors. There we go. And also activate that switch, too. As you may be able to use that switch as an indicator to for sure activate all of the green ones. Yeah, maybe not because you still have to activate one, at least one, one red one. Never mind. Yeah, because yeah, we were just running around and I explained everything to you. So to commentate about you know, about this room. Besides the army of Inframon. We just want to duplicate, power us down, and shoot their spider shooters at us. For some reason, I had in my head that, okay, maybe a switch will now appear up here now that I activated everything, but no. That's never been or will be a thing in this game. At this point, I was kind of thinking, what the hell? It was around here when I started when I started to kind of experiment with the switches, but then I had to stop and check, so I, I, I edited that out. So now that we know, let's get rid of the other red ones. The Inframon are probably still after us, plotting our deaths. Well, plotting Doraemon's death. And there you go. Now let's get in there and be a home record for this virus.
And yes, if you activate another red, if you activate another red one, the door will close and then the platform will just go back up. If you thought it was unlocked, then you can do whatever the hell you want. You were sadly mistaken. Come back here. We're just trying to shoot ya. No. No. Ah. And here we are. Took one longer than I would have liked, but okay. Imperial Dramon Dragon Mode. Mega Crusher. An ancient Digimon. I, I kind of like how they managed to find a way to get all three forms of Imperial Dramon into this game. Because we can unlock Fighter Mode and Paladin Mode to play as. And then Dragon Mode's an enemy. But sadly, none of the rookie forms unlo unlock any of the Imperial Dramon forms right away. Or easily. All of them have get access to them via hard mode and very hard mode. It's the one drawback to this game, sadly. Is like, um, you have these difficulties, which is fine, you add replay value, but it's like now when you unlock a new form in very hard mode, now you gotta go and take the time to level it up just so you can use it in the next form. And I don't and then make it worse. Um I'm pretty sure a couple of them you only can get via post game in very hard mode. And hard mode. So Okay, so I'm not too sure. I think you can actually use your the shot blasters, so your shots, to attack these guys. But blast attacks, I don't think, have enough arc to reach them from from our position. Maybe if they were further back. and the Inframon. Yeah, because... It, there we go. Never mind. Not, ha not coming up yet. So, we gotta do this a couple more times. Beat up the Mecha Rogues and the Inframon. Beat up the Imperialsmon Dragon Modes. And then rinse and repeat for a bit. It's Mechero X's last line of defense. Ow. Ow! Bitch. Ooh. Imperial Jamon data. Now we have more teching up to do. And more dra and more dragon modes. Yeah, I don't think we can I don't think force skills work on them either. 
I love the idea that they're flying. Stop some other enemies. I do appreciate how the dur how durable an, an Intramon can be. I don't get knocked back so easily, so your Venom can actually do their job. Yeah, because that, so that switch didn't go off, so I was like, wait a minute, maybe it's not even here for some reason, maybe they just had to mess with me, but then, you know. <laughs> no. I decided to change the rules at the last second. Oh, those dicks. Oh, those dicks. That's a double rapier. I no, never mind. That's not the one I look at. So I decided to level up my force while I was here. Get it done and out of the way. Echo data. Yeah, for some, for some reason, I just started having a br <laughs> brain farts coming up very sh shortly here. So you see it's capped, but for some reason I was looking at the list all wrong. Blast's position, I thought, for some reason was force. I have no idea why I thought that. I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Get rid of that one because he's just being a nuisance now. Go check it again. And I think that's when I clued in. I'm like, duh. There we go. Two data. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's just wait for them to come closer to the platform and then run up and smack them. And then run away if needed. Run away! the effectiveness of Venom. And there we go. Venom's done. Also, this floor is almost done, too. And here we are. Well, 
Welcome to Zone X. The first floor where the Mecha Rogue X likes to hang out. Okay, so... Uh, he is susceptible to bind. But he's not like Crusadermon who will dodge your physical attacks. You can now just whack the, sh whack the shit out of him. But he is immune to your blast moves. Or at least, um... Their secondary effects. He can take damage yet from them. So there was this one time when I was playing this with a friend with with a friend of mine, and by this point we'd gotten my Algumon's signature weapon, and so my friend used power down on Mecha Rogue X and power and powered me up, and I ran up and and used my and hit him with a weapon and one shot at him. Like he got a really bad karate chop because because Ag Agumon's signature weapon's a hand for some reason. That's in the karate chop position. Thumb in the palm. All right, so to me this is this form is probably the hardest form, ironically, because of that purple mist and um. Those things above it, they can, as you can see, they they use bind on me. So one of the best ways to go about them is, yeah, just attack them from a distance. Ironically enough, this might be an easy one of those times where anyone with bomb could be more useful. Because he um. Because the bomb is thrown and its explosion, its explosions could probably reach it. But it's still better to just use your probably your first blast skill, depending on what your Digimon is. Also, as you uh, damage him, his, he makes it harder for you to jump over his purple mist. But at the start of the fight, we could jump over it if we wanted to. Eventually, because he kept doing this, I just started started going with my uh, with with my blast moves. Let's see how much they do. Yeah, everything seems to be resistant to to uh, to dark. So, see, now his mist comes out of half of his like halfway. Uh, Hit his body. Run! Oh no! Run! Ah oh, crap, I'm stuck! This is just uh, use your block to block those and take them off with your blast skills, or if you have shot pistols, use those too. <laughs> just right at the end there, get a bind hits. Nice. Man, those spinning drills really do hurt. I don't know if they have a set damage like the cannons. Like where they'll like do half and then a quarter and you get the point. Ow. Ow. And that's the second form. the What we'll call the cocoon. So Mega Rogue X still has one more trick up his sleeve. So why don't we heal up and then go and take care of that? Final form. It's big. It's hitbox. It's hitbox. I find is a little wonky, and force moves don't seem to work on him. I think power down can work. Possibly freeze. 
Eh, he missed. He, and that form is also immune to Venom's after effect. Hey, he looks like some kind of weird, bizarre fusion of, uh... Metal Cub Terry Bond and something else. Yeah, it's just kind of best to get up close to him, shoot blasts as needed, like ice or 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 dark, I guess, uh, or uh, attack him with your sword. He also has the the that dark orb move that you just saw. It will follow you around, and then at, when it gets close, it will attack you. When needed, if you can, put, just raise your shield up for that, too. They go away after a, after a time. I'm not too sure how long it takes. And I have, and I don't think you can destroy them. No, I don't think so. It looks like I could really hit that thing. Oh, there! Oh, there it goes. One went away. And the other one did too. Excellent. Uh, oh, oh, thank God. <clears throat> and he almost killed us there. So I'm like, screw it. I think. No, I just kept using petty heal. Never mind. Playthrough Dark has been kind of useless. But its usefulness for me is just to burn out a last bit of MP before I restore my MP when I'm teching up. I like before we got Venom. Rude. So, Vekarogax will never decide to change uh, his position, so he, you'll never have to fight him where he's at the south end of the arena. He'll always be here. Kind of weird venom move that or that you just saw a, an electric attack with his hands he also has those dark orbs and he has that move where he quote unquote transforms and then he flies off and then he flies off and then he comes and then he flies back his attacks are oh and uh, this I, I'll get, I'll, I guess, a, a, a moving wall. Oh, look, the Dark Spears are back. Ow, ow, ow. things while we wait for him to come back. Ah, oh, there he is. And so now he's almost dead, thank god. And there he is, that's, and that's Mecha Rogue X, everybody. We did it. We saved the digital world. And even 
with him, we still get four treasures. And none of it will be interesting. That's that. And no, this is not the end of the... Don't worry, this is not the end of the Let's Play. There's still one more part left. I gotta show off a couple more things. Do I recommend Digimon World 4? Yes, I do. I don't recommend it to everybody, but I do recommend... If you played genres like this, to check it out, you might like it. Yes, if you're a long, if you're a D D D Digimon fan, you might be put off a bit by the idea of, let's say, like of those rookies there with swords, because all of the evolutions, minus where Garurumon, technically have weapons naturally. Also, Beelzebon X there, he, you see him with his weapons, those are not his signature we weapons, and they are a weapon he can just, he can just pick up. Like, anybody can use them if they have the tech skill for it. I guess Hercules Cub... Terrymon naturally doesn't have weapons, never mind. Yeah, even War Wargram on X here, his claws are not a signature w weapon. He, uh, those, anyone can use those too. And that's why you don't see, like, um, a dark equivalent on Black War, War Graham on X. Instead, you see him with an item called the Drill Bunker. So, um, Metal Garoom on X, that's his signature weapon. I mean, that's what he naturally looks like, so... I don't know what they were thinking with some of these guys, because even Crimson Mode and Alphamon here get their actual weapons as their s signature. The difference is that Alphamon has two of the, of his weapon. There you go, at least in some capacity you saw all the Digivolutions in in the in this let's play. So now we're back at base, as if nothing ever happened. Let's heal up. Don't worry, there's actually no major cutscene. Which is actually a surprise surprising considering how many games have an ending cutscene like most of them <laughs> instead when you come up here and talk to Seraphimon and Ophanimon they just kind of congratulate and that's it the Mechorogex has been destroyed thanks to your efforts peace has been restored to the digital world no to the entire w w w w w world we're counting on you as a member of the DSG to work hard uh, it never ends. <laughs> Even though our feared enemy, the Mechorogue, has been annihilated, it bothers me that Lord, Lord Nightmon, who was a Royal Knight, was on their side. Wait, a Royal Knight and the Mechorogue X? Nah, it couldn't be. I just think too much.